Hello, this is Bruce Mallett, State Senator for District 12, with an update on the coronavirus and a word about Father's Day. Let's start with the coronavirus. As of June 14th, we've had 13,928 cases of COVID-19 in Arkansas. That's an average daily increase uh, of 440 cases, and that's up about 100 uh, daily increase from a week ago. Our active cases are at 4,344, and that's up about 1,000 from a week ago. The good news, I guess, if there is any, is the last two or three days, the seven-day rolling average has flattened out some, and the number of active cases has been fairly flat the last two or three days. So we'll just have to continue to monitor going forward, uh, take all the precautions that are recommended, and hopefully, again, uh, we can open the economy and not continue to see these increases. The governor did issue uh, three executive orders this past week with respect to limiting liability re relating or regarding COVID-19. Uh, one was to benefit employers in the workplace. Uh, one was to benefit healthcare workers. Now an employer still has to follow generally the guidelines and recommendations of the health department to benefit from this liability. And, and so it's not just a, a, a blank card of protection for the employers. Uh, the third executive order that I mentioned has to do with workers' comp and would allow a worker to claim workers' comp for a COVID-19 or contracting COVID-19 in the workplace. So uh, the ho hopefully that does benefit the workers. The governor also made an announcement this week that effective July 1st, visitation would be allowed in nursing homes uh, that do not have any active cases. Now, there, are the, there will still be certain restrictions on that, but I know families are interested in this, and it's certainly been a long time since they've been able to visit their loved ones, and this will help. Sunday is Father's Day. Uh, I want to tell you about mine. My dad was born in 1925 in a house on the farm that I now own. Uh, he came up through the depression years, so they learned hard work, they learned how to be frugal, they learned how to make things for themselves and to repair anything uh, that was broken. My dad uh, carried those traits with him throughout uh, his life. Dad joined the Navy during World War II, he served in the Pacific Theater, and uh, like most uh, of that great generation, he wasn't a talker, he was a doer. After the Navy, he came back and uh, went to college, two years at Magnolia A&M, and then moved back to the farm where he and my mom raised three kids. I have an older brother and a younger sister. Dad farmed and then also became a rural mail carrier while he continued to farm. The farm transitioned from cotton to cattle and hay in the early 1960s. Those were the day of, uh, days of the square bales that you had to get out and haul, and they were the days uh, when we didn't have cab tractors. I was driving a tractor by myself by age seven. My dad taught me an important work ethic. He taught me responsibility. He taught me to make decisions. He taught all of us to treat each other, others with respect, to treat people the way we would want to be treated. And he taught us the importance of faith and family. Uh, those are, are very Im important traits uh, that I hope that I pass along to uh, my ch three children. And then when I was 10 years old, I had an accident at a neighbor's farm that resulted in the loss of my right leg. I'm an amputee. At that important time in my life, I had really two paths I could take. I could be negative and just think, well, I can't do anything anymore, or I could take the other route and continue to try to do everything that I had done uh, before I got hurt. And my dad made certain that it was the latter. He put me back on that tractor. He put me back uh, driving the truck for the hay hauling crews in the hay field. And then when I got older, I was a part of that hay hauling crew. He, uh, he had me to continue to do things and to, uh, th that I could do before, and he convinced me that I could do that. So that taught me determination uh, that has, again, benefited me for the rest of my life. I lost my dad four years ago. I still miss him every day, uh, but I cherish the memories and I benefit from the lifelong lessons that he taught me. So today I say happy Father's Day, Dad, and I want to wish all of the other fathers a uh, happy Father's Day and everyone a good week ahead.